these things can ultimately hinder your ability to enjoy this country, stay here for a duration of time, and your overall like of the country. You know you used to love me. I know you got someone else. But you know you still want me. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Learn to be Filipino. Thank you for joining me once again. I've been getting a lot of love and new subscribers from people from all around the world. I appreciate every last one of you for your support and watching my videos. If you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel right here. Click the icon, the bell notification, so you can get notified when, when I do drop a video. Now today's topic is the things that a lot of foreigners might not like about this country. Just visiting here or living here. A lot of you guys coming out here for a woman, there are some things that a lot of you guys may not like. So let's go over them together. A lot of this information isn't on YouTube, I had to find out a lot of this myself from my experience living in the country. So the first thing on the list, when you come out here, you probably heard this before, that heat is gonna be sometimes unbearable. Now if you're coming out here between the months of March and May, then these months are the hottest. It's considered actually the summer in the Philippines. The heat on top of the humidity can be something unbearable for a lot of these guys out here. You'll find yourself, you know, going to the beaches, of course, but you'll also find yourself becoming extremely exhausted by the heat, sweating your shirts out, just standing there in a line, sweating, sweating balls. So that's one thing that you guys might not be very fond of is the extreme weather sometimes at times in this country. And not only that, right after the summer comes rainy season. It rains a hell of a lot here and sometimes all day and oftentimes floods out in a lot of places so chances are if you're here around those times you're gonna have some muddy ass feet and you're gonna be walking outside not every community in the Philippines is paved sidewalks or even roads for that matter you're gonna have to deal with some rough terrain and some mud every now and then and of course the typhoons starting in June I've been through a bad typhoon here where I had no electricity for a month and a half and that was including internet Next on my list, you probably heard of it before, and that's traffic. That's right. The traffic in this country can be brutal. Some people might know about LA traffic or New York City traffic, but the traffic in the Philippines is something to behold. So if you are traveling to one of the major cities like Manila, Cebu, be prepared. And remember, I just mentioned the heat. Imagine if you're in a taxi stuck in traffic in the heat, and some of those taxi drivers don't have good air conditioners in their cars. So guys, the traffic in general here can be a little dangerous. So traffic number two, guys, something you got to get used to. And number three, if you're staying here for a longer period of time, then you're going to have to be doing some kinds of paperwork. Maybe you're trying to get married in the country. You want to extend your visa. You want to pay a bill. These kind of things can be extremely difficult in the Philippines because this country isn't paperless. And I've mentioned this in my last videos before. One of the things that a lot of foreigners can can actually complain about or just not be happy about is having to go somewhere and wait in a line just for a paper. You have to pay for it because this is the Philippines. Everything does have a fee. Most of the things that you would acquire back home in your country, you could do it online and you don't have to go into any office. But in the Philippines, everything involves papers, baby. I think this country is very far from becoming a paperless country. The next thing is if you're going to be here for even longer, if, you're, if you plan to rent an apartment or a house, you gotta deal with a lot of things. Remember, you're in the Philippines, you're surrounded by Filipinos. Filipinos love having fun. And oftentimes, they'll just throw on the karaoke machine just because they feel like singing. And that could be as early as five in the morning. You could be in your fifth dream, and all of a sudden you feel like you're in a concert, you're hearing one of your neighbors blasting some Filipino karaoke. For some men that come out here, you might be a little bit older than me, maybe a lot older than me. Certain sounds might irritate you more than others. So be prepared for that, hearing loud karaoke, loud music, disco, fiesta, celebrations, birthdays, graduations, you name it. Filipinos don't shy away from having fun and making any celebration an excuse to turn on some loud ass music. Next on my list, if you're staying in the province, you're gonna be living in a lot of peaceful areas. There are a lot of peaceful areas in the province, but there are also a lot of things that cause a lot of noise. And the number one being roosters. I'm sure you've probably talked to your Filipina or somebody from the Philippines on video and you've heard some roosters or chickens in the background. It's quite different when you're having a chat on WhatsApp 
or on Messenger and you hear the roosters, that's fine. But what about early in the mornings? Sometimes two in the morning, three in the morning, roosters having a battle in the background, loud as hell. Another thing is the dogs. There are a hell of a lot of stray dogs out here. And of course, it can be dangerous, especially if you're walking out in the streets. That's why you can see some people walking. If they're working out, they have a stick in their hand just in case there's a dog that wants to attack them. Another thing as far as noise, you're going to hear a lot of motorcycles out here. Filipinos out here especially love to have little fast motors that make a lot of sound. They're not going that fast, but they make a hell of a lot of noise. It can be an annoyance to you if you're an older person, like I said, and you hear it like at 12 midnight, 1 in the morning, after they get out the bar or from a friend's disco or somewhere like that, you'll hear it loud as hell and it'll wake up everybody. Those are some of the noise factors that you will have to deal with while living in the Philippines. The next one, guys, is everybody's going to think you're rich just because you're a foreigner. And you might get the comment all the time when you're at the store, only 500 pesos, sir. And then maybe somebody would joke with you and say, come on, you're rich, you're rich, you're from America, you're from America. They don't say those exact words, but you will hear that you are rich. You have a lot of money. Not knowing that most of the guys out here that visit or live in the Philippines, they're not rich at all. They, they might live on a pension. So no matter what, you're always going to be rich in this country. So deal with hearing that a lot. Next thing, if you're going to drive in this country, there are some crazy ass drivers in this country. Especially those white vans that transport people from their homes or wherever to the port to go to another part of the Philippines. Those guys are called RRs. They're nice vans. And exactly. And they're actually comfortable. But those guys drive super fast, super dangerously, and reckless. And people cut you off here like a bat out of hell. In America, we use our horns for, for different reasons. Like if you make a stupid move on a road, we, we might use our horns. But in the Philippines, they're using their horns saying, look, I'm behind you. I'm about to overtake. Stay put. So you could see motorcycles, scooters, freaking the hugest trucks you can think of overtaking and even getting in the lanes of the oncoming traffic just to overtake. Oftentimes making you have to pull to the right a little bit so that they can pass. Not knowing that, look, this is my lane. Why the hell are you in my lane? But people here don't really care, especially the other truck drivers. Those guys are savages. And of course, I love this country, but that's one thing that I just cannot condone or accept. It is the dangers that traffic poses in this country. People don't follow any kind of traffic laws, if there are any, because most places here, there aren't any traffic laws and police don't enforce anything. And the last thing I would say, when you come out here, you're a foreigner, you look much different than everybody, and um, you're going to experience a lot of staring. People are going to be staring at you like if you're an interstellar species somewhere from a parallel universe out there in another galaxy. They will stare at you, break neck like an owl, turn 90 degrees around just to keep staring at you. And that's all ages. Little kids, middle-aged, any age will stare at you in this country. And um, they don't mean any harm. Uh, they just wondering like, hey, where are you from? Wait, is this guy American? Is this woman American? Um, they might think you're cute if it's a woman. All I know is that you're going to get a lot of stares in this country. A lot. And it's going to maybe piss you off at first or make you feel uncomfortable. That is something you will grow to accept. And uh, at some point, you're not even going to worry about it anymore. It's not even going to be a thing anymore. You might see somebody staring at you and then you just look away. It's just normal now after so long of being in this country. Like me, I've been back and forth in this country for over six years. So it's really nothing to me anymore. Uh, when people stare. So that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed. I wanted to give you these little detailed tips on certain things that you might not like about this country. Because guess what? I love this country and I promote this country with full heart. And you guys can follow me on TikTok as well, learning to be Filipino. Uh, but there are some things that can get under your skin here as a foreigner. And um, I want to be the foreigner with the experience to shed light on these things so that you get the fair warning beforehand. So Appreciate your time, guys. Appreciate the likes. Let's try to get this video to 50 likes. If you do have a question, drop it in the comments. I answer all questions in the comments section. Peace out, guys. I'll see you next time. You know you used to love me. I know you got some heart. Else. Now you're gone.